All right, flooring retailers, we have a, another edition of Brawl Blooms Webinar Wednesday for you. And today, we're going to meet, introduce you to your new secret weapon, Canva. Now, what we're going to show you with Canva is going to help you massively level up your flooring business. But first, let's get into some fun intros. So I am Jeff Bieber, a.k.a. Elvis, a.k.a. Captain Broadloom, if you saw me at Surfaces the last two years. But when I'm not dressed up at Surfaces, I am the VP of Marketing here at Broadloom, and I use Canva five times a week. Al and I'm Alex. I'm the Associate Marketing Manager here at Broadloom, and I am in Canva 15 times a week. So why are we telling you this? Uh, we'll get to that in a moment, but before we dive in, Let's actually uh, ask the most important question. What is Canva? Alex? Yeah. So Canva is a free to use uh, online graphic design tool that allows you to create social media posts, presentations, posters, videos, logos, you name it. Um, in short, it's really Photoshop for dummies. I am said dummy. I cannot use Photoshop for the life of me. Shout out to our graphic design team who crushes it there. Um, but you can use it for everything and it saves our team a ton of time with easy design projects that we can tackle on our own so when we did the intros we said how much we use canva why are we telling you this because at broadloom as many of you probably know we have an amazing uh creative team shout out heather mc and david uh they cover video and graphic design but the reason we say how much alex and i both use it is because we still use it a lot uh, you know, even with having that video and graphic design uh, support. So for you, uh, in your flooring business as a flooring retailer, it could have massive benefits for you. This tool can help you unleash your creativity and help you create content in literally lightning speed, which we're going to show you in a second, and at a fraction of the cost uh, compared to hiring a graphic designer. Maybe you use Upwork, maybe you use Fiverr or using costly printing companies. We know how expensive those get. Uh, we certainly do here at Broadloom, especially during show season. It's a lot. So to help you and uh, for every person that signed up through the web form uh, at the end of the week or Monday-ish, uh, we are going to send you our free Canva guide and some pre-designed templates that our team put together to help you bootstart your Canva and start to make some beautiful designs. And again, we will email that out roughly end of the week or Monday. Um, and uh, Jeff, did we mention that Canva is free for most of the features? Uh, great point, should cover that, Alex, it is free. And you know, while there is a pro version, and uh, Alex, how much is the pro version? Uh, the pro version is $15 a month. Okay, so 15 bucks a month, no, we're not saying go out and start with the pro version. You actually also could do a free trial of the pro as well. Um, but in this webinar, we're going to show you a mix of things that use both the advanced tactics in pro and some really basic ones to help you get started quickly. You don't need pro. But if you want to do some of the more creative things, you're probably going to want it. Give it the free trial, see if it works. But uh, we're going to jump right into some things. So Alex, I know you mentioned it was uh, $15 a month. Uh, we're covering both, uh, anything else? Um, so I just wanted to mention to you, while some of the first steps might seem really basic, we promise that this is going to help you guys create beautiful, um, flyers, business cards, everything that we named earlier. And it's going to help you guys increase sales, your marketing materials, and even some in-store merchandising with ease. So we're really excited to share this stuff with you. Okay. So. We're going to try something a little bit new for these webinars. We're going to do some live creation and editing uh, in this. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to pull up Canva. All right, let's get this up here. So Alex is on and Alex, take it away. Perfect. So up at the top here, uh, this is what it's going to look like when you open up Canva. Um, so just starting under what it's uh, where it says, what will you design today? You're going to see a search bar. This is available to search for content templates. On the left side, you're going to see your folders and assets. And then you'll find a few recommendations for materials to create and then your most recent uploaded designs. 
So we want to show you guys how to set up Canva for your brand and company. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on brand and we're going to add a brand kit. So for the sake of this, we're going to do Todd's flooring. Um, Todd's, you know, getting out of the broadloom business, wants to start his own store. We're going to upload his logo here. And then down below, it's going to pull some color matching from your logo, which is a really cool tool. You can either keep it or edit it. And then we're going to skip over fonts because we're not doing that here. But if you have specific fonts for your business, please feel free to add those in. It's going to make your life really easy with creation. And then for photos, we're going to start to upload some showroom photos. Um, for the sake of this, we pulled some stock images. But if you have really great photos of your showroom, of your staff, please upload those here. And while they're uploading, um, just to share with the color matching, if you don't know exactly what your you know, hex color is, anything like that, this is an awesome tool to make your life super easy. And then second, we're going to upload some team photos. So again, for the sake of this demonstration, Todd is a one-man show at Todd's Flooring, but please upload your team's photos. It's going to be making creation a breeze when you guys are creating graphics for the store, promotions, maybe employee of the month, anything along those. But we've just got Todd one through four here. All right, that is all loaded in and uh, your brand kit is ready to roll. Okay, sweet. So we have our logo loaded in, we have our colors and uh, our team uh, uploaded to uh, Canva. So that is the structure we have in place. We're now ready to create some beautiful designs and show you some cool things that Canva can do. So one of the important things that we like to call out, you saw what Alex referred to as the hex color. Uh, that's just a color code uh, that's relatively universal. If you're working with other companies, if you've ever worked with a, you know, a brand and they're asking you what your colors are, it's usually a hex color. Uh, it popped up, there you go. Uh, it popped up uh, right there. You can see that hashtag and then the four F342B. Uh, those are your hex colors. But let's say you uploaded an image and you wanna figure out what the hex color is for that. So we're going to move over back to the other screen and click create design. And Alex, you want to take it from here? Yeah. So just for the sake of this example, we're going to show um, an Instagram post, something random just to showcase a feature. Um, so to start, what we're going to do is showcase you guys that color that Jeff is talking about. We're going to go ahead and pick our preloaded logo that we did in the brand kit. So we've got Todd's flooring here. And you can resize it, whatever you need. Go over to text. And let's say that Todd's flooring store is now open on Sundays and they want to get that out on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you name it. We're going to type that in here and we're going to make it bigger, just make sure you can actually see it. And then we're going to resize it, move it down to the center of the photo here. Perfect. Slide it on down and... Awesome. And let's go ahead and actually uh, change this font here uh, so you can really see the difference in the color. So we're just going to pick this one. And now the magic happens. You're going to click over the A, click on the little plus with the rainbow and click the color dropper. Now you can hover over the image, select any color you want, and now it matches to your exact brand. So really easy tip, but something that's not totally... Uh, you know, out in the open, it's a bit hidden. But once you know this is there, it's really easy to go ahead and color match anything on your Canva designs. Okay, perfect. So uh, it, it was a quick uh, animation. So you can go back and check it out on YouTube. Um, but you'll see when Alex clicked the little dropper, uh, that hex code showed up right below it. So again, it'll help you identify any color that you have in a palette. Maybe you uploaded a different image and you want to match that and make it branded off that color. You can do that with ease. So now we're going to get into some more of the fun stuff. That's some of the basics that we recommend. But here we're going to talk about probably the most important part, which is the templates, because that is a huge value prop that Canva has. It has templates. And as we can see just in the screen right here, you can create documents. You can create a whiteboard for like uh, brainstorming. 
Instagram posts, anything like that. And we're just going to do something uh, specific for your uh, store. Something that'll be uh, something that retailers are doing, and that is a uh, in-store event. So as you saw, Alex typed in event flyer, and that's in the top left. And because it was just Easter, you see, you know, Canva knows maybe we we're doing something for Easter, but we're going to put in, see what we get for flooring event. Probably not specific enough for like a grand opening. So Alex, let's try something a little different, but you know, part of what we want to do here is show all different things. Let's do it uh, like a store event and boom, there's our grand opening. So maybe you're having a grand opening, a reopening, Maybe it's just a showcase in your neighborhood. Um, so uh, what you can see at the top here is those four little quadrants of color. And, you know, Alex is going to pick the uh, brand guy that she just put together with Todd's floor. But you can see at the very top, those four little squares. Those are all the colors that are identified in this flyer. So what's going to happen here uh, as we go on, Alex? Um, we are going to then start to click those different ones and start to swap in the colors that match the brand that you uploaded earlier. So that's what's really important for that little setup ahead of time. It's just going to save you a lot of time. And Alice is just going to start to show you how quickly it is to customize and design a in-store uh, graphic or flyer that you can easily print out, send to customers, post around the neighborhood, drop off at you know local community spots, and start to incorporate the really quick and easy approach of making sure it's branded in your colors. And then, of course, we're going to add in a second the logo here. So Alex is going to make a little bit of space. And part of us trying to do this real time, I know it's probably not for the most efficient. We want to actually showcase how easy this is and how quickly it can be done. And as just a little reminder, as Alex pulls up, every step, everything that we do uh, in this video is going to be in a very detailed how-to guide. Uh, that we send out afterward. So if you're feverishly trying to write everything down, all the steps, don't do it. Just absorb the information. We'll make sure that you guys are set up nice uh, for the future. So Alex is just uh, changing some of the design hierarchy and layout, putting the logo up top, resizing it. And you can see those little lines popping up. Uh, those are the alignment lines. So it lets you know, is it centered? Is it in between the margins and the spacing between different items? And Canva is really good and identifying that and helping make it really clean and clear imagery. So the next thing, uh, now we have this beautiful grand opening for Todd's flooring, we're gonna go to, uh, we have the business card side. Now we did have it open, uh, but you would find it very similarly uh, to how we looked up the templates, but it can also make you, help you make uh, business cards. And we're gonna take one of their templates and show you how easy it is to customize it. And then again, put it in your brand colors and get those headshots that you just uploaded in there. So Alex is, you know, updating Todd's fake information. So it's toddflooring.com if you want to find him on the internet, putting his email on here. And you know, while she does that, you can actually even do the backside of the uh, business card as well, but we're just going to skip that for now. Uh, she put, because Alex is from Jersey, best place, New Jersey. Uh, Todd is from, actually, Alex, you hold on one second. Uh, uh, best place, you know, Todd's from Westfield, but you saw how we just quickly pulled out the pre-existing templatized image. Um, when you see this landscape image, this is honestly one of my favorite features. I found out about this in Canva way too late that I want to admit. I was like, why are all these landscape photos on all these templates and you know these different frames? And you'll see those in you know computers or in uh, phones. This is actually telling you. This is Canva saying, drop any image in here and we will automatically put it inside the shape. So you don't need to do Photoshop. You don't need to do any you know, creative uh, editing or cutting or cropping. Canva's gonna help you do it, and then you can actually pan uh, the image inside that uh, circle. So, oh, sorry, you can keep going here. Um, so we're gonna show you, we're gonna take that full image of Todd and look, it just drops it right in. Then Alex can pull down the image, it's just gonna keep it in that shape. Super easy, makes it look super professional. You can see she's clicking on the other elements and just, again, clicking the colors that are on Todd's uh, brand. So it's just a very simple way for you to customize it. And you can see Alex is going to go through every element here from, you know, the text to the logo buttons to the call out buttons uh, to really brand it, uh, you know, based on what we just uploaded. So 
in what two to three minutes we literally just uh were able to do all right alex take it easy uh <laughs> We, uh, we just did a flyer. We just did a business card. And now we're going to show you uh, one of our favorite features. Uh, quick uh, note, if this was pre-recorded, this would be where we pop up. This is part of the pro version. Uh, this is the background removal. Uh, for pro version items, uh, Canva denotes it with like a little crown. Um, and you'll see that uh, throughout the platform. But uh, we're going to show you how to take out the background and how to make this a transparent image, which is also you know known as a PNG. A lot of people like to have these images because it lets you put it on other things like flyers and business cards without having you know that full background. So it gives you more usability with the, all of the images that you have. So, all right, Alex, sorry, you can keep going. I just want to make sure I was able to contextualize it all. So she's gonna make this big, she's gonna click edit photo and then see that BG remover. And if you look, it's really small in the bottom right, those little crowns, those are pro version. Uh, thing. So she clicked it and boom, it is now a transparent image. That background, Canva's AI was able to magically identify where Todd is versus the rest of the background. It's really impressive. Uh, that's one that I think gets uh, done all the time really well. Now, what Alex is now showing you here is, you know, we like to have fun with some of these images and uh, we're going to do like a little cutout of Todd's head and show you their magic erase feature. Uh, again, in the old world, you need to have uh, you know, Photoshop and possibly a designer do this. Now you can just do this with the magic erasing. You can see Alex is adjusting the brush size. So we are going to start to cut out uh, the rest of Todd's body from what we did remove because we would maybe want to make some fun merch or maybe a flyer with just Todd's head. Maybe he's, he's having a blowout sale. So Alex is going to give Todd uh a nice shave probably uh, the closest shave todd has had in a while so you can see she's taking her time with it and you know we want to sort of showcase you know how accurate you can get here but just you know you can do the full thing uh alex because she uses canva a lot and is a pro she likes to do it in stages because let's say your mouse slips and you take out maybe part of the chin or something like that um it, you, you would have to undo it to then recut so she likes to take each corner and just make sure it's you know as clean as in the barber shop and we also want to make sure that we don't give todd a double chin because he will get very upset with us if we give him an artificial one so we're just going to let you see how close alex is getting um and you can see that we magnified the image on the bottom right you see where it says 322 with the percentage and that little slider um that is the magnifying of the image so you'll see in a second once alex is done trimming this and i know she's yeah she's going to get those little bits and pieces, One more. <laughs> couple of whiskers here uh so you know want to make sure it's super clean and well uh cut out and we'll uh be able to then zoom back out and see what this image looks like so uh canva is done doing the work you see alex just jumped back to about 100 oh she's jumping around 107 now 57 percent of the image and now she's going to crop down the image because it was originally that wide space and she just dragged the corners in and look, the proportions pull the same. Uh, the image is very uh, easily uh, uh, changed. And that is as easy as it is to start to cut things out with the uh, magic race. So we went through a couple of things there. We did the in-store event flyer. We did the business cards. We did background removal and magic erase and uh, some adjusting some images there. So Alex is going to show you some uh, super helpful uh, key, uh, like shortcuts that you can use on your keyboard when moving around images. Alex, you want to talk through what you're doing here? Yeah, absolutely. So for this one, we're just going to go back over to the business card. And uh, before I go any further, um, just really quick, wanted to explain again, I know I'm kind of moving fast through this. We want to share a ton of really great content with you. This is all going to be available on the playback on YouTube. And then again, if you sign up for the webinar, um, we'll send that downloadable within the next few days or early next week. So just really quick before we keep going, um, I got a little bit ahead of myself here. Uh, you can see sometimes elements move around really quickly and maybe it's getting in the way of your designing. So what you can do is right click like I did right here, this box. And then now I'm going to go ahead and click lock. So from here, it's not going to pull anymore, which is awesome. And then let's say you want to group some items together. So they all move together. Command G is going to be your best friend. So now that all locks together, perfect. And some really cool tips. Again, I know I'm going a little quick here. 
if you click R on your keyboard, keyboard, wow, um, it's going to create a text box for you. If you click T, it's going to create a text, hello. And if you click C, you can grab a circle text box up here as well. So all really great shortcuts. Um, again, hidden, but not hard to find once you know where they are. So we just want to make it as easy for you guys to create content as possible. And we use these every single day in our content creation as well here at Broadloom. So little tips and tricks just to make life easier. Definitely the control G for the grouping and the adding the text, I'd say are the most helpful ones. Uh, just to give you a little context of why you're on group text, uh, when we had all that information on the left-hand side, uh, it gets very annoying. There's this thing called pixel pushing. When you're trying to push the thing over to see if it's aligned, when you group it all like that, you never have to worry about that again. So you use those alignment uh, you know, lines on the screen. You group it. You never have to worry about messing up the design once those elements are set. So again, similar to like the setup and some of these shortcuts, at some point you're gonna realize, oh, all this stuff keeps moving, this is so frustrating. You'll be like, oh, those shortcuts in that guide, that's gonna help me out a big time. So uh, those are some of the uh, sort of key adjusting and manipulating images and text features that we're gonna do here. But now we're gonna move on to some of the really fun stuff. Uh, this does fall under, again, if this was pre-recorded, the pro version. Um, and this is really leveraging Canva's AI. Canva has a very impressive AI feature. Uh, the ones that we're going to first talk about uh, that we touched upon a second ago uh, is the background remover, uh, because as we get into it, uh, when you uh, we realize we jumped into it sort of quickly, and Alex is going to put a gray background here and show you Todd's logo with the white background. So this is not transparent. She clicks edit photo, clicks the background remove, and there you go. So now you can see it's now on the gray without that white box. Um, and again, you can move those assets around. So maybe we're going to do, you know, some sort of asset with Todd where, you know, it's a flyer or, uh, some call out Alex, uh, actually said, you know, employee of the month. So the Todd's one man show, I think that works. So she's going to click edit photo here. And this is one of my favorite, uh, this is using generative AI to extend images. So it's the image extend. So let's say we wanted the image to go all the way up, but the photo wasn't large enough. There we go. All the way to the top. She's going to hit magic extend and Canva is going to create and expand the plane of that image using AI. And they're going to populate in a second on the left-hand side with a number of different uh, iterations for you to pick from. And if you don't love them, you can actually generate more versions, but you're going to see it create some new foliage back there. So that's one version. That's another one. And that's not, I think the second one was probably the best. That looks real. You would not look at that and say, you know, two thirds of that was real and one third of that was fake. So generative AI can be super helpful, but we're also gonna put this in a little bit more real world example of how you can do this. It's not perfect, right? There's still, you know, this technology is still very new, but we're gonna keep it rolling and we're gonna show you what happens. Uh, you know, every now and then you have a cutoff image. So we cut off this image of Todd and we're gonna go back to edit photo and then click the magic extend and we're going to extend it down you may want the full body shot right so we're going to extend it and see and again cam says don't do hands don't do faces you know that stuff is really hard but it's very impressive how it creates uh you know ai generated images just based on what you what it has to work with above so look at that meet country todd those big old forearms here's normal todd here's todd with the watch Fingers are a little funky. You know, they always say AI is still working around fingers. Uh, I like Todd with the watch. And so very professional. And again, that whole bottom part is AI. That's the original. That's the new one. It's really impressive. So it helps you fix some of the annoying things that might happen if you have a great image. I want to use this image, but it's cut off. Or, you know, there's other tools like you can use Magic Erase to take things out. Uh, some other things that we didn't cover. They actually have the ability to swap images. So if I'm holding a water bottle and I want it to swap to, I don't know, a plank, uh, you can actually do that. And it's very impressive. Uh, again, still all very new technology, but you know the ideas start to go wild uh, when you do that. Um, the, last, uh, the, the last tip that we're going to give you today 
uh, is going to be app extensions and it's how to do mockups. So uh, Alex, do you want to take this? Uh, I know you're going to have to navigate the platform. You want to take it. Uh, you can go ahead and take it. We'll go ahead and showcase it live. You can okay. voice over. Okay, sweet. So you got your logo, you got team photos. Maybe you want to make some swag. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to navigate on the left hand bar uh, to apps. And we're going to type in mockups. Like, let's see what some of the stuff looks on some gear. So uh, let's do a mug. And again, we see our friendly landscape image showing here, meaning that we can swap an image and drop it in there. And then maybe let's do some swag. Let's see what else. I'm Alex. feeling a sweatshirt. All right, let's do a sweatshirt. All right, and again, you'll see that landscape image. We'll pull that over. And all that's telling you is that is an area that you can drop your image. So we're going to find the transparent background of Todd's logo, drop it on there. Boom. Super. Oh, did we lose Jeff for a second? Oh, well, like I was saying, or he was saying, you can go ahead and add the logo on either the sweatshirt, the mug, any sort of mock-up that you want to go ahead and showcase. And you're all set there. So I think this looks really cool. Could also put Todd's head on the uh, sweatshirt as well. It's completely up to you. So, um, you know, just up in Brooklyn, if you guys aren't aware with the earthquake that happened last week, I think his uh, Wi-Fi is still a little shoddy here and there. So um, that's it for our tips. Uh, we'll see if he hops on here in a couple of minutes, but we really wanted to just share with you guys some super quick and easy tips and tricks. Again, these are going to get sent out to you in a downloadable, and these just make our lives easier. At Broadloom, at really anybody who I know who uses these, Canva is an awesome tool to go ahead and just make design as easy as possible if you don't have that Photoshop or Illustrator background. So now that we said that, um, let's go ahead and take some questions. Oh, Alex, Jeff, you're back. Alex, I told you this was going to happen. So your just wife. a heads up, <laughs> if, no one, if no one believes us that these are always live, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the earthquake uh, in New York has messed up the Wi-Fi. Alex and I talked about this ahead of time. Uh, it was definitely had to pick this window of time for me to drop off. But we were talking about mock-ups. Alex, did you cover uh, ordering? Yeah. So, oh, actually I didn't go over ordering. Um, I was going to hop into questions, but good thing you came back in time. Um, really quick. We did want to mention as well, um, you know, showing you guys mock-ups of mugs, sweatshirts, business cards, flyers, you actually can use Canva to print as well. So you don't have to go to a third party company to get things printed. Um, you can utilize that right within the platform. So you'll see it present on some options. Like if you click flower, excuse me, flyer, for example, um, that usually populates automatically that it thinks that you want to print something. Um, it might not show in all functions, but it can print pretty much anything. So you don't have to go elsewhere for it. So Canva can really be your one-stop shop for graphic design, for printing materials, for uh, you know collateral, for swag, whatever is for your business, sales, marketing, in-store merchandising, uh, you know, always look at prices. Maybe you have a friend who runs a printing shop, but if you are, you know, uh, you know, if you have to work with local printing uh, shops and we know how expensive they are, Canva can be a great tool. Cuts out the middleman. You don't have to pay for mock-ups, proofs. It's, you know, look exactly the way that you have it designed. Uh, it really gives you more control over your brand. So with that, I already see we have a handful of questions over here and drop us some more if you got some uh, you know, any other burning questions about Canva or just general marketing and design questions, uh, we are here to help and at your leisure. So, uh, looks like the first one we will go with, is it really free? Um, uh, Alex, why don't you take this one? Uh, yeah. So yes, uh, it is really free for the basic version of Canva. Like Jeff mentioned, there are some little crown icons throughout the platform. Those are pro paid, um, 
uh, items, if you will. So, you know, like the AI tools, those are going to be a part of the paid subscription. Well, like we said, for 15 bucks a month, um, and I know if you pay yearly, I think it's 120 bucks for the entire year. So that even makes it less expensive if you're ready to commit to it. Um, it's an awesome platform. And Canva Pro, I know, offers a one month free trial, which is great if you want to really get your hands dirty, see if it's the right platform for you. But the basic version is 100% free and anybody can make an account. All right. So uh, next question up, uh, Mr. Jason Schramm. Do you create Instagram posts and share those to Facebook most of the time or make posts just for Facebook since the format is larger? You got it, Jason. It's the latter. Uh, you always want to customize the image size for the platform. Uh, the platform will give you uh, more organic reach if you're using uh, native uh, formats. Uh, I shouldn't say native. Uh, the, the format that is ideal for that platform uh, versus uh, sharing through or sharing cross-platform. Um, so honestly, give it a test, um, but you always want to use it because the image size, and everyone can sort of test this at home, pull up Facebook, pull up Instagram. Look at the share of screen that you have on those two devices. So you want to make sure that from a resolution perspective, uh, from a size perspective, it is all maximizing it because you, know, you want your image to look beautiful and in high resolution. Um, yeah, and then Jason following up, can you upload existing business cards to them? Uh, you should be able to upload the existing business cards. Uh, Canva has a really good ability. Uh, now it won't be like uh, under the template of business card. It'll just be like they have a upload a design and it can be any image and then it sizes it based on what you have. It can identify a lot of elements within it. And if there are things that you want to take out and then start to use Canva's shapes and designs, you can start to pull those in from that left-hand bar. Maybe we'll do a deeper dive on all the different things that you can do in Canva because there's literally so much. Like we didn't even talk so much about the hierarchy of text from headlines to subtext to body text, like everything you need to do. Canva can help you with with ease. Um, and just to just to add on that too, really quick, Jeff, you can also create your own templates within Canva, Jason. So if you say this is the standard for my business card at my flooring store, you can now save that. So anytime you get a new employee or somebody gets a title change, needs more business cards, anything like that, it's essentially you're doing a template of your own and swap in the information, swap in the photo, and that can be saved under your brand kit as well. So it really does make it as easy as possible for you to create branded content across the board, especially if you're making new business cards consistently, you know, a variation of the same social posts, flyer, anything along those lines. Absolutely. And uh, Jason Trim is leading the charge with questions. But uh, before I answer that, Alice, again, a little shout out there for the quick, easy buttons uh, from E and W Carpets. So if you like to call out the little highlights, happy to provide value, make sure that we're helping you guys get more efficient in your day. But getting back to Jason's question about the eraser, uh, at least to my knowledge, it is the only circle. And the reason for that, Jason, is it allows you to soften corners as much as possible. So if it was like a square, you'd really have to be really tight and just work the angle. Uh, the circle shape lets you sort of round edges and sort of cut out the things that, um, you know, you want to get rid of. Uh, but there is, uh, if you guys go back and look at the video, you can pick the size of the brush. So if you have a lot to take out, you make it a really large circle or you can make it a really small circle uh, in terms of how you're erasing things. Um, Jason's stealing our thunder here a little bit. Um, have you played with this on videos? So... Wait for part two, Jason. Uh, this is the print uh, sort of physical uh, sales marketing materials in store. We are going to have a video on. Uh, it's crazy that you asked that question because we literally were coming out of brainstorm like an hour ago and we said part two is literally going to be on video. So, you know, we, we, we like that it is set up and you guys see the vision. But yes, Canva does do video as well. And we will do a whole uh, feature on that as well as some other really helpful AI tools that we actually use at Broadloom for video editing. And again, we have two very impressive video editors on our team and you know they also love the tool as well. So uh, we're gonna keep this thing rolling. Uh, from Tara, great replacement for uh, some print, which they use most often there. And again, 
Tara, we'd love to hear how you're using it. Uh, once you show, oh, use Vistaprint. Okay, definitely helpful there. Uh, make sure you look at the prices as well, uh, the cost between those uh, different things. Uh, I actually haven't ordered business cards yet through Canva, but I do know people who have, and they've said the quality is really solid. So, um, you know, when you're starting to look at every element in your business, and I would just say, explore the templates. Like, not only will it give you new ideas of things to, you know, market and merchandise within your store, but you'll also start to find replacements for it. And for 15 bucks a month to use a platform on Pro, I mean, it pays for itself in one day if you're working with any external vendors there. Okay, I know we have a couple of other questions here. Again, we, we say this every time, please send the questions in the chat. We love, we love the engagement via email, but then we have to pull it off email. So uh, can you upload any type of image to Canva or file? Uh, Alex, I'll kick that review. You sort of touched upon it a little bit with uh, Jason's question. Yeah, so you can upload pretty much any different type of file. Um, PDFs are accepted, JPEGs, PNGs, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, try to upload it and probably is going to accept it. Um, the only thing we did want to mention is there is a file size maximum, so uh, 25 megabytes, but there are platforms where you can go ahead and make those smaller files before uploading. Uh, something too really cool with PDFs is if all the elements are on there, sometimes you can pull things off of PDFs and put them back on, whereas a photo is just going to upload as the photo itself. So yes, it pretty much accepts anything. All right, let's see. I think that might be it for questions. We'll leave it open for another second or two. Uh, if anyone has any burning questions or anything that we can help with. Um, and if not, I'm going to tease an amazing, 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 amazing webinar we have coming to you next week. Uh, we have Jared Steele of Go Green Flooring. Uh, he's uh, teaming up with us. And we are going to show uh, how to avoid getting frauded in the flooring industry. We know that these fraud uh, instances and scams are running rampant. You know, looking at the flooring retailer group uh, on Facebook, uh, you know, it's happening a lot. And I'm sure it's happening to a lot of more people because people don't want to tell anyone that they got frauded. So uh, Jairus recently had a very exciting uh, but unfortunate uh, scam situation. Uh, I'm going to tease a little bit. It involved a uh, police chase, and I'm not going to tell you how it ended. Join the webinar next week, but it is going to be incredible, and that is next week, how to not get frauded, flooring fraud, the red flags, and how you should avoid it. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. And in closing, just remember, uh, if you're watching this after the live viewing or if you're a free uh, viewer watching right now and you didn't sign up through the web form, only the people that signed up through the web form We'll get our free downloadable with all the hotkeys. Uh, we're literally going to show the step-by-step -step screenshots of how we did all the things that we did today, uh, the shortcuts, and a couple of awesome free templates that our team put together to help you guys get into Canva real quick. So I don't see any other questions that popped up. But for Broadloom, I'm Jeff Bieber. I'm Alex Whitner. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy selling. And we will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye.